Hi guys. Um, Viking Ale review. Okay, going to be reviewing a beer from Skinner's Brewery. Done a few of their beers. They're pretty local to me down in Cornwall. Uh, I found this one in my local shop because the reason I got it is, is because I've never seen it in a bottle before. I've seen it once or twice on cask. It's the Kernel, Kernel King, which is a gold nail. Comes in at 4.1%, I think. Let's have a look. 4.3%, sorry. And it's got the, uh, the Kernel King on the front. <laughs> so let's give you a little bit of info on it. It does, says, it says, sorry, a crisp, hoppy golden ale made with 100% Cornish pale malt. Um, not much else other than that. Um, so let's just get it cracked and let's see what it's like. I do like Skinner's beers. They seem to be quite consistent. There's nothing sort of like overly amazing about them, but they're just nice and, you know, you don't really get a bad one, so... But this one is a, a strange one because I did have a look online to see if anyone had reviewed the bottle and and I couldn't find anything. All I could find is cask, so whether this is a new line as well, I don't know. But there's this little beer shop near me. It's not really a beer shop, it's more like a super and off license. Um, and they've started to get some really sort of strange little beers in, it's really good. So as you can see, it is crystal clear. You can see my ugly face for it. Um, not too much of a head at all. Looks like a proper cask beer. Uh, let's give it a nose. Yeah, you're getting those lovely golden ale nose uh, scents coming through. Um, almost like a, a sort of lagery sort of smell, like a, a SARS hop or something. But you're getting um, a nice bit of lime and lemon, a little bit of um, sea salt. Even like a bit of carrot or something like that, which is quite strange, like a bored carrot. Bit of white grape. And you can get a slight sort of bitterness on the nose as well, so let's give it a go. Cheers. Not a lot of carbonation. Yeah. Ugh, not too sure about that aftertaste. Yeah. Let me just double check something here. Best before C cap. Ah, that's fine, 14th of November. That is the right cap, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm not really bothered about this. It's got a strange hoppy taste, um, which is like a mix between cucumber, butterscotch, and um, and earth. It's not a really, really nice sort of taste. There's a little bit of sweetness as well, maybe like a slight sort of brown sugar note, but. It's not, it's not that nice a flavour. It's not a flavour you want to sort of chug down. And golden ales are supposed to be refreshing and you know, and chuggable. Um, and this isn't. The more you drink it, the less that sort of butterscotch tends to fade, and you're left with just a sort of watery. God, do you know some? You know what? Usually, when I review a beer, if I get like about a quarter of the way through and it's just so boring, I usually just cut off the review and I don't bother releasing it because I think, what's the point? The only time I review beers is obviously when you know I get a good result out of them or a bad result. This is so nondescript um, that it's actually making me want to just turn the camera off and just say, "Oh fuck it." So it's boring. So fuck it. <laughs> See you later.